Hello everyone, I'm Peter and I'm sorry for the, the inconvenience, we had some technical problems, but hope we have a plan B, I have a plan B, so I hope it's going to be fine. Uh, I had a live demonstration which you, you have to miss now, but it will be all right. So uh, thank, you for, uh, thank you for letting me to have the first talk today. And what I would like to talk about is a short overview of the possibilities to, to run a Perl on Android. Uh, first, uh, we're going to see some basic facts and basic things about Android. Uh, then different approaches, how to, to run Perl on Android, how to make it possible to, to execute and run scripts. And then we will see uh, the first approach, which which is a which is a kind of a, a pre-compiled pre -compiled version, and then the second, which could be the future, we will see uh, uh, the building of Perl on Android from source. That's that would be a little bit interesting. Uh, I think I don't have to to introduce Android. Maybe maybe I would ask uh, how many of you are using Android or Android based phone. Yeah, this is what I expected. Uh, as it's a Perl workshop, I think most of you know that Android is a Linux based system. A Linux basically every smartphone or tablet you have is uh, running Linux on it and it's a Linux box. You can connect to it, you can have a shell and you can do whatever you want with some limitations, of course, but basically it's Linux box inside. Uh, as I've, uh, I've told you in the, in the lead, I, I would like to show you the different approaches. Uh, at the beginning, or not the beginning, around 2009 or 2010, uh, came up the the Android scripting environment, which is a cross-compiled uh, solution to, to run different scripting languages on Android, including Perl, of course. Uh, later, they renamed it to, to scripting layer for Android, but the system is the same. You have a, you have a, a wrapper application written in Java, and this application can run the, the scripts via its interface. It's this interface uh, is a na native Android application. And in this uh, application, there are these Android facets. Uh, these are classes written in Java, and they provide the, the JSON RPC to the script scripts uh, to connect to this application and to, to reach the Android API functionality. Not all the Android API functionality is implemented, but you can see so many applications. Uh, and there are, yeah, uh, you can use Python scripts, Perl scripts, JavaScript, and it has a shell interface also. At this time, uh, the cross-compiled version is Perl 5.10. And you can you have an Android Perl module which gives you you uh, methods and classes to to reach the Android. Uh, that's the point where we would see an example, an application. Right now, what I can show you is only this screen. This is the this is the fallback. Uh, I'm very sorry for this. Uh, basically, that's the interface of the the application. And if I could uh, use my, my laptop to, to demonstrate it, then the Hello World uh, script, which is basically a three-line script, would display a to an Android toast message on the, on the screen of, of the emulator. And the test PL, which is also part of this application, it's a demo script which uh, runs uh, almost every, every possible uh, displaying functions like pop-up windows, uh, dialogues, and so on. So, 
I'm so sorry to, to miss this part. <laughs> Maybe it's my fault. I think it's my fault. <laughs> or my computer's fault. Uh, this application or the development of this application uh, is stopped or not so active as, I, as I've seen. It stopped uh, somewhere around 2012. So as you see the, at the screen, it's not, it's the old Android interface. It's not the, the, the new standard design. Uh, but from the, the latest version of, latest stable version of Perl, it's possible to compile it natively on, on Android at four, from 4.4. 4. This, this is not uh, trivial, trivial and not so, so easy, but, but if you are familiar with the uh, SDK or the NDK, the Native Dev Development Kit, uh, you, can, you can compile it from your computer, using your, your computer but directly on the phone, or it's better to use it on an emulator. This could take long, like minutes or hours, but if you are lucky, then you have a, a Perl interpreter running on your phone. And if you connect to the phone via the ADB or via a shell SSH, then you are able to execute commands and, and you are able to include modules, Perl modules, and whatever you need. Yeah, I've prepared two links for, for more information. Maybe it's easier to, to memorize this format of links. Thank you so much. <laughs> Has anyone questions? Yes? Yeah, yeah. As I as I I told you, uh, I haven't compiled it on my phone, but I've compiled it in an emulator. On my my laptop, it took one and a half hours to compile, but but yeah, I was able to connect it and and run a script. Yeah, but uh, can you open a window on Android from Perl? Yes, yes, it's possible. Thank you.